Spectre Child, absolutely dominating with Raphael through this entire tournament. Not once looking like he's ever going to drop at least even a single game. Oh, yeah. So I'm it excited to see how both of them uh, fight each other. Looking really, really good, of course, the entire time. So, uh, looks like uh, we did have a, we do have our final top eight now, as you guys can see on stream. So, mm -hmm. that's uh, how it's going to go down. We are going to continue on with the winner side of the bracket. But, of course, after that, we go straight to the loser's bracket where we're going to start eliminating people out of the tournament. Sad times. Sad times, but necessary times. Yep. Showcasing the best of the best of US East in the Soul Calibur Online Challenge, US East, US, US East Open. And don't forget, tomorrow at what was it, 6 p.m. Pacific time, we have the Soul Calibur Six Online Challenge exhibition. It's at 6 Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Six so. Eastern. My yes. apologies. Six East. So six local time for these players. Gotcha. 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 Anyways, we are going into the matchup here. Let's see some action. I want to see some wall combos. Wait a minute. Oh, we got the Halmaru coming out again. Wait a minute. I did not expect to see him again so soon. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just this stage. Maybe you're forced to pick Halmaru on this stage. Maybe. Uh, maybe it's one of those things where Jimbo was watching. He was like, oh, he picked Halmaru? I'm going to show off my Halmaru too. <laughs> yeah, right? He must have been pissed. He was like, that was a bad display of the samurai spirit. Let me show you. Anyways, we'll see either way. I mean, this I feel like this is a, probably a tough matchup for Hamaru, just given the, the speed and the control that Rafael can kind of impose on him. I mean, obviously Jimbo and Eater doing a really good job here in the opening round. Yeah, Jimbo doing way better than the last Hamaru that we saw only uh, mere minutes ago. It seems like Hamaru, Hamaru, Jimbo has a really good grasp of how to play this matchup as well. Oh yeah. Maybe he's just comfortable against uh, Raphael in general. I mean, Almaru, one of those characters, uh, we kind of mentioned it earlier, he's uh, he's not the quickest character out there. He definitely has a lot of up-close attacks, but he kind of lacks in the range game. He does, yeah. I mean, he does have a few long-range things, like his heavy slashes on B plus K. But yeah, generally, he's not got the longest of ranges, especially on his horizontals. Yeah. And then when it comes to that, that range that we're talking about and just having those pokes, he's definitely outclassed in terms of speed versus Raphael. Oh, for sure. I mean, contesting with an I-10 is always going to be rough, but Spectre Child manages to bring that back. 6 6 plus K, evening up them rounds. Oh, yeah, tied up. Spectre Child it. making those adjustments, which, of course, necessary. Trying to get a read on how Jiminator is going to be playing Haomaru, which, in my opinion, is a, definitely a surprise pick. Well, Haomaru generally being in a tournament is uh, encouraging to see because... You know, not only do some people think he's a bad character, but like you say, he's one of the slowest and he's one of the hardest to understand and get good with. And seeing Jimbo doing pretty well against the Raphael in tournament top eight, very encouraging. Oh, he was doing well up until that big counter hit there. Spectre Child able to get the round now. Two rounds to one here. One more round will net him the first match. But again, can't count out Jimbo Nader. Definitely. You know, I mean, he's got a bar and a half. Sucks him in the face. Nice, doesn't finish off that string. He knows that Spectre Shard understands that that is a duckable string. Catches him stepping. Oh, it's looking really good for Jimbonator right now. He, he has meter as well. Cheeky 2k. Oh, good clash. Trying to work with the range. Oh, is this the comeback that Spectre's going to go for? Is this the big comeback? Perhaps. Oh, Jimbo is just waiting for that perfect opportunity to press the button, but Spectre Shard's not letting him. Oh, beautiful block on the 1K. Nice. Oh, this is so scary. But oh, oh he was out of range. It. This is oh, so lips. bad. Is he going to throw this away? He Had may to use do. the meter. Had to Hits use him it. With that sake inhale. Oh, 6-6-B oh, interrupts. 6 6 B plus K. Doing so much work for Spectre Child in the final moments of that game. I got to tell you, Dan. Jimbo had that. He had that for like 30 seconds. He had, he had a whiff opportunity or a whiff opportunity there that he did not capitalize on. He was out of range with his K follow up. And it was just downhill from there, man. It was uh, unfortunate. Spectre Child really capitalizing on the mistakes there and uh, coming out on top with the momentum. But uh, let's see if uh, Choke Maru will do anything here in round number two. Uh, ouch. Or match number two, I should say. I'm going on to Care more than one of the smaller stages, straight out of Witcher. Or one out for uh, for Haomaru. For Haomaru. Yep. 
To be fair, Halmaru would be pretty annoyed if you tried to pour one out for him. He is a great lover of that sake. Yeah, don't want to keep him from his uh, vices, right? Anyways, going into the match here. Jimbo, I feel like Jimbo had good control of the matchup. It was just clutching it out. I think that was the big problem there. How many counter hits is Jimbo going to get? He's going to get all of them. And then, okay, at least he didn't choke that time. Here we go. So Jimbo right now, proving it was a fluke. Show me otherwise. Man, he is uh, not letting up. He's hitting that button before the round even starts. I can feel it. Place it with that front grab. Oh, great whip punish with the BB. Oh, but this is uh, a bad position to be in right now. Spectre Child pushing against Hamaru against the wall. And I like how Jimbonator is just getting out of there. Kind of reversing the roles as far as uh, placement goes. That's kind of what we haven't seen much do from Jimbonator. So he's hitting with a couple of 50-50s. I have a feeling Jimbo is a little bit scared of trying to move too much in case he gets counter hit. But, you know, Hamaru excels with that 50-50 game. But never mind. 4-4-K lethal hit, beautiful read, and Jimbo is one round away from evening up this score. Yeah, we've seen a lot of the range attack here uh, from uh, Jimbo Nader, but he's finally starting to open up his opponent here, going for that sliding stance K. See what he's able to do here, nice punish there. Oh, here it goes. This, hey Jimbo, why don't you do this earlier? <laughs> oh, What's going on? Trying to press. I think Jimbo's playing way more aggressive. He was trying to play a pretty balanced game last time, but now all the buttons. Good RI. No whiff on his shadow of 8A with the retract, but he retracts from behind with a reverse ledge. Thank you very much, Raphael. Plus four. Good step. There you go. Big opportunity here. He has him by the wall, but Jimbo Nader starts to use his meter as well. Soul Charge activated. It's a Soul Charge battle. Oh my oh. gosh. Hits him with a 9k. That was great. And Jimbo, he heard what you said, Mark. He had it right there. And in that second game, he crushed it. Great display of skill and character understanding from Jimbo as well. Oh, yeah. He definitely took on the offensive, really started to land all those hits. But not only that, he never let up, at least towards the end of the rounds. He did not uh, He did not let uh, Spectre Child take over the round. Momentum wise, no, he did not force himself not. into a defensive position, so that was great to see. I mean, he dominated that first round. I think oh, yeah. he got maybe eight or nine counter hits throughout the 30 seconds that Spectre was alive. Sticking with Halm, or oh, of course, he has to stick to Halmaru because he just won the game. Yep, but sticking with Raphael, I mean, it's done bits for Spectre Child throughout the entire thing, and we're back on Kim Mohan. Yeah, this is this is big, though. I mean, you got to think about it. This is going to guarantee you a winner's final appearance right so from here on out if you're playing you are going to be playing in longer sets throughout the entire tournament you could win this match true so very, very one of true. these two players will fight off against boom in the winner's final uh who's it going to be that's the question who is it going to be place your bets everybody place your bets in chat who do you think it is going to be all right starting it off strong again jimbo nader already putting specter child into the blender using that aggressive punch Damn, they are. Nice. Oh, that 9k was so sick. This is scrappy. This is like outside in the back alley dumpster kind of fight. It's just, it's button mashing. It's, oh, it's disgustingly beautiful to watch. Oh, yeah, I mean, if I have one request from these players, it's more of this back alley brawl. I want to see this kind of <laughs> stuff. Scrappy dappy do. Make it happen. Especially. Oh, beautiful 2 2 k Oh, look at that. It's all adding up now. Here we go, Jimbo. With a nice life lead here in round number two. This is it's starting to show Spectre Child's. Uh, oh, the 4 4k again. The follow up. This is. Oh, wow. All right. All right. Get off me. He's a, he's a nut. Good step. Hits him with the 6 6 kb. 6 6 bk, sorry. Okay, Jimbo, we're in a similar position. Good step. Cheeky 2k. Jimbo is about to bring this back after choking in the first game. Spectre has a pretty big mountain to climb right now. About to get slapped. Hits that soul charge button. Oh! Dirty step. No wall. Oh, there's that sake inhale. <laughs> Sniped right out of the air. 1kb. Good block punish. That's going to be that third round for Spectre. So very close. Eight alive. Uh, 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 uh. 
Yeah, trying to throw us tornado from that far away. Wow. That was brave of Spectre. Oh, nice. Rolled right underneath it. Again, look at this. I like Spectre now with the aggression here. Try to get some of that pacing from the match from earlier. Oh. Three lethal hits. No, three heavy hits locked and loaded. If Jimbo hits that WFBA. Oh, he charged Good it patience. up. Oh, look at this. Oh. It's big. He just got hit by a truck. Oh, that was a range three B plus K. Dirty hit. Just. Uh, I felt to it. Bring the hammer down. I'll bring the katana down. That, oh. was, that was brutal. You that was brutal. It. What a way to end the, uh, the match, though. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you had Spectre Child robbing, for want of a better term, the first game <laughs> away from Jimbo. And then Jimbo, he powered up. He he opened his chakra and just went beast mode. He definitely did. Up two more games. So Jimbo Nader does 